against an alternative theta nu is expectation phi u t that is equal to expectation of phi u t given t is equal to t expectation of this. Let me give the number here 13 and this will be then 14. So, the overall power is maximized when the power of the conditional test is maximized for each t. Now, phi 1 was already having this property since phi 1 has this property for each theta greater than theta naught the result follows. Uh, I am not stating the case 2 and case 3 that is H 2 versus K 2 and H 3 versus K 3. So, the proofs are similar. Okay. Uh, let me take case 4 that is H 4 versus K 4. Here, unbiasedness of a test of H4 implies similarity on theta naught and del by del theta expectation theta nu phi u t that will be equal to 0 on theta naught. Now, we take this derivative inside the expectation sign taking the differentiation under the expectation uh, which will be permissible here because phi is a test function. So, it is a bounded between uh, 0 and 1 here. So, And then what we do? We uh, carry out little bit of calculation doing some computations we obtain expectation of u phi u t minus alpha u is equal to 0. Uh, now, this is u and uh, this is coming because we are considering differentiation you are having the density function e to the power the theta into u. So, when you differentiate e to the power theta u with respect to theta you will get e to the power theta u into u and that is why this u has appeared here this is on theta naught. Now, since the family under theta naught this is complete we have already seen this thing unbiasedness implies the conditions 11 and 12 the conditions 11 and 12 which i stated for phi 4 so these two conditions will follow because i can write expectation of expectation here so the test satisfying 9 is UMP 
among all tests satisfying 11 and 12. So, it will be UMP unbiased. If we compare with phi u t is equal to alpha. Uh, a part which I have not uh, covered here is the measurability of these functions. We should actually also show that uh, uh, phi 1, phi 2, phi 3 and phi 4 these are all jointly measurable functions. These are all functions of u and t. So, the joint measurability of this is also required. Uh, however, this proof I am uh, skipping here uh, the readers can actually go through the detailed proof in the book of Lehman and Romano. Uh, uh, we will consider further applications of this and uh, when we are writing a distribution in the exponential family. So, for example, we are considering e to the power theta u plus sigma nu i t i, but one may consider a different form of the parameters like we may consider reparameterization. We may consider say for example, theta star is equal to say a linear combination of theta and nu i's. So, what we can do? We can do little bit of readjustment of the coefficients the form of the distribution will still remain the same. This will only be a uh, exponential family in a slightly different form. We may actually write it as e to the power say theta star u star plus sigma nu i t i star. So, all these things will get little bit modified. However, it remains in the k plus 1 parameter exponential family. what we have demonstrated here that the result for UMP and UMP unbiased tests which were stated for one parameter exponential family can be extended to the case of multi parameter exponential family. That means, we are still testing for one of the parameters the we are having other parameters as the nuisance parameters the overall distribution is in the multi parameter exponential family. So, there is one exception here wh what is happening? the UMP test which was there in the one parameter exponential family now it is UMP unbiased and the tests which are UMP unbiased they also remain UMP unbiased. So, in all the conditions we are actually getting UMP unbiased tests. Now, in particular uh, this helps us to resolve various problems like if we are dealing with the parameters of normal distributions, if we are dealing with the parameters uh, when we are having say for example, if I am considering one Poisson distribution or two Poisson distributions, if we are considering binomial distribution, two binomial distributions, if we are considering say uh, beta distributions and many of these cases. So, these are all covered under this that as long as we are dealing with the distributions or whatever joint distribution of the observations is given as long as that is remaining in the multi parameter exponential family it will be following uh, that means, for testing the problems of the nature h 1, h 2, h 3 and h 4 as I have defined here for each of these cases we will have UMP unbiased test the form will be given as there. Uh, in the next lecture I will be giving full uh, working out of uh, these tests that is UMP and bias test for some of these problems that I will be carrying out in the next lecture.